morning, everyone. We're going to read a story today called Delphine, Denise, and the Mardi Gras Prize. That's a long name, isn't it? All right, let's see what it's all about. I'm Delphine Denise Dubras, and I have a few favorite things. New Orleans, because that's where I live. Purple, green, and gold, because it's impossible to choose just one color. And Mardi Gras, because it's the biggest celebration of the year. My friends and I always march together in the Mardi Gras parade. Getting ready is part of the fun. We make masks with fancy feathers and colorful costumes with beads and boas. We decorate our bikes with streamers and balloons, and we bake a delicious king cake topped with sprinkles to eat after the parade. But this year, the Mardi Gras parade will be bigger than ever. There's a big, shiny, grand prize for the best float. If that crown were mine, I'd wear it. When riding through town on the streetcar, while gobbling beignets in the French Quarter, and while visiting Jackson Square so that all the artists could paint my picture. But there's one major problem. Theodore frowns. We don't know how to build a float. Anna Louise shakes her head. Every year we just ride our bikes. And we always have fun, adds Xavier. I really want to win that crown. We can do it, I say. I get my wagon, which is just right for building a float. My friends help me paint, cut, color. We glue Mardi Gras decorations on my wagon until it's dressed up as a carnival king. Our float is big, but not big enough. We need to think bigger, I say. My friends watch without saying a word as I pile things high on our wagon. Ladders for throwing beads to the crowds, pots, pans, and even a stove to boil crawfish, and cymbals, drums, and saxophones, because Mardi Gras is all about good music. When I'm done, Xavier points to the sagging float. Anna Louise squints at me. Theodore stomps his foot. Delphine Denise, our float will never float, he says. I cross my arms over my chest. Do you want to win that crown or not? My friends all look at one another. Riding on a float that won't float isn't fun, says Xavier. We just want to have a good time, adds Anna Louise. Why don't we ride our bikes like we always do? Who cares about some silly prize, asks Theodore. I do, I say firmly. I'll just march by myself. If that's what you want, sighs Xavier. The parade won't be the same without you. On the day of the parade, the root -a -toot, toot of trombones, tambourines, and tubas fills the air. Floats line up behind the brass band. Crowds on both sides of the street are ready to catch colorful beads and shiny coins. The sun is beaming. It's the perfect day to win a big shiny crown. Happy Mardi Gras, I shout to the crowd. I steer my grand float past my friends and wave. That's when things take a turn for the worse. First a pot, then a pan. I steer with one hand and catch things with the other as they tumble off my float. A wheel comes loose, then another. Watch out, Delphine Denise, shouts Anna Louise. Do you need our help? asks Xavier. Everything's fine, I yell back. Theodore shrugs, if you say so. Then, boom, crash, kerplunk. The parade rolled on, rolls on past me. My favorite celebration of the year is ruined. I'll never win that big shiny crown now. And my friends are having fun without me. But maybe I can still convince them to have fun with me. I sprint to the kitchen. I can still save our favorite part of Mardi Gras. I grab a bowl and add eggs, milk, sugar, and flour. Then I start mixing. I put my concoction in the oven. When it's done baking, I add the finishing touch. After I place the last sprinkle, I run fast to find my friends and the words tumble out of me. I'm so sorry. I don't need a fancy float or a big old crown to have fun. Next year, it's back to our tradition. Like, I show them my surprise, king cake. Everyone takes a giant bite. No one can resist a good king cake. Now this is a good time, I say, my mouth full of cake. Who needs a silly crown anyway? Well, whispers Theodore, about that, adds Anna Louise. Ta-da, shouts Xavier. My eyes get big, my very own crown? My friends made it for me in all of my favorite colors. 
It's just like the grand prize from the parade, says Theodore. It's even better, I say. <laughs> so that was nice of her friends. After all of that, they made her her own crown. So she got one anyway. And it looks like they all had fun in the end. All right. Well, when Mardi Gras comes in a couple of weeks, I hope that you have fun celebrating wherever you are. I know some places um, celebrate Mardi Gras in a big way with lots of parades and king cakes. And other places don't seem to celebrate very much at all. But maybe you can do a little celebrating. Maybe you can make a picture in, in gold and green and purple. Those are the colors of Mardi Gras. And maybe you can get all dressed up with some beads and some fancy boas. <laughs> all right. I have a great day, friends. Bye-bye.